As a school, um, there was a real thirst amongst the teaching staff to sign up to the option of looking at cognition um, and also memory, memory being key, I think, really. We knew very quickly that resources for our students to be able to revise in the long term, to hold information uh, in their memory and also to be able to draw it out when needed um, were really important. So my subject specialism is design and technology. Uh, it's a subject in which students do sit a terminal exam at the end of year 11 um, and we wanted to really focus on how we were equipping them to perform very well in that. Um, students are, of, are sometimes really really confident in terms of the work that they do in class but then when they sit in the exam hall uh, they kind of lose uh, track, they lose confidence actually a lot um, and they think they lose a lot of the information that they need to be able to answer the questions that they're being asked. What we decided to do was reshape resources around what we were providing them with for revision but actually more crucially than that training them in how to use them well because very often what our students were saying to us were we can allocate the time we understand we need to revise but we just don't know where to start we began to um, reshape practice around use of uh, frequent quizzes tests but very much in a low stakes way using them in class using them for homework activities um, and also allowing the students to use them as a bit of a diagnostic for them to understand what they were remembering, what they weren't remembering so well and then inevitably take the actions required to improve their outcomes. One of the challenges that we face in a school like ours is that in classes we do have a very broad range of ability. We have some students who can go and self-regulate quite easily and others that need really to be schooled in that so that they can pick up those cues, use the prompts and then actually apply things independently for themselves. Some of the work that we've been doing has been about deploying TAs differently to work with students, particularly students in Year 9 who are at the start of their GCSE journey. They've been looking at quizzing together in school but also working independently for homework, understanding what they know, um, also knowing where to go and find information when they need it. It's nice to be able to like track my progress and look at like um, different ways of making progress. It's helped a lot and the cards help remember a lot of things that I usually would forget and the most smallest detail can sometimes be the most important in a way. So with the flashcards you can put a small load of information on so you're not overloading yourself which you can then put the bits on that you think you don't know rather than the bits you do know so you're testing yourself on new stuff not stuff you already know. It's been very interesting to talk to the students often about how they feel about how they're doing because actually of course we test um, and sometimes we do record scores, we reflect on that and we see uh, very pleasing results that they're starting to do better but it's also been really important to involve them in the process to understand from them about what they're finding challenging, um, things that may be finding too easy and be able to monitor that and adapt our process if we needed to. One of the real benefits is that actually it is cross-curricular. Um, what they use in one lesson, uh, in this case DT, they can adapt and use in other subjects. But actually in, in that broader sense, um, when they leave us, um, then they still have need of those kind of cognition and memory skills. I would hope that it's something that will equip them for um, you know, challenges that they might face later in life as well.